big unanswered question I had from the trailers going in to see Coco for the first time was how is Miguel going to arrive in the land of the dead? Because all the trailers just seemed to imply he played a dead man's guitar and poof, he was there. And while I was certain it would be an important plot point that would be explained in extensive detail, it was not in the slightest. This was the given explanation. Dia de los Muertos is a night to give to the dead. You stole from the dead. Like seriously? That was the reason? I traveled all the way to the ne- How you doing? Yeah, I just want to let you know there are going to be spoilers for Coco in this video. But like, if you haven't seen Coco and want to avoid spoilers, why are you clicking on videos like this? You need to sort- Okay, so the main reason this annoys me is because Miguel being in the Land of the Dead is made out to be really shocking to all the skeletons in the Land of the Dead. As Ernesto de la Cruz put so well- <laughs> You are all anyone has been talking about. We basically get the impression that no one ever gets stuck in the Land of the Dead because they stole something. And I'm sorry, I get the Day of the Dead is an important tradition in Mexico that Mexicans treat with respect. But the chances of no one ever stealing anything from an altar or a crypt just seems impossible to me. Like, just Miguel on his own on this particular day of the dead steals a chicken wing from some random family's altar to distract Dante. Technically speaking, he also steals his great-great-grandmother Imelda's photo from his own family's altar. And also, if there was no threat of anything being stolen, why did Ernesto de la Cruz's crypt need a security guard? Huh? 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 Yeah, sorry Pixar, but I'm not buying it. I don't think stealing something from a crypt or an altar is quite enough to get you lost in the land of the dead. There's something special about this guitar. A curse. Yes, I'm suggesting there's a curse on the guitar, meaning when Miguel takes the guitar, the curse is inflicted upon him. And it's this curse that leads him to arriving at the land of the dead. And before you start claiming I'm crazy, the word curse is definitely the correct word to use here, and it's actually said five times in the film's entirety. And I know that because I searched the script and it said five times. And while it never specifically says the guitar is cursed, when you analyze the use of the word, everything just starts to fit into place. Firstly, Miguel literally claims to be cursed in the first line of the film. Sometimes, I think I'm cursed. Hmm, that's an interesting choice of words for the first line of the film. Anyone think they're hinting or foreshadowing something? I personally don't know. It's not like the first line of the film's important or anything. But I know, technically that doesn't prove anything. See, if you're looking for a more concrete piece of evidence that the guitar is in fact cursed, how about when Miguel arrives at the land of the dead, the very first brief explanation he gets given for why he's there is well you're cursed and i wonder what could have cursed him uh let's see it could have been that guitar you know the thing that caused him to arrive at the land of the dead you know it's a possibility it's the guitar and if we're all agreed on that i can move on to the main portion of the video being how and why the guitar is cursed because i've dug deep and i actually think i found the solution so let's just jump into it because while you'd assume this curse was inflicted by ernesto de la cruz you know the villain of the film because curses in disney films are always and i mean always performed by the villain you ever heard of a good character inflicting a curse it doesn't happen. Well, except in Brave, because P I mean, the witch isn't really a villain. However, I don't think this is entirely the case, because the implications in the film point towards the fact it's a family curse. The way to undo a family curse is to get your family's blessing. And if there was a family curse left on the Riviera family, it was definitely Hector. That man's music was a curse. And while these two both own the guitar during their lifetime, I don't think either of them intentionally put the curse on it. Like, they're not sorcerers. No. But I do believe that the solution starts with Hector. Hector, and the photograph of himself he has, for some reason. Like, you talk about plot convenience. But a character who is being forgotten and needs a picture of himself to be put up on an altar so he can see his daughter one last time before he is forgotten, having a picture of himself in the land of the dead is just like- That is the biggest piece of plot convenience I've ever seen in my life. Like, firstly, how did he get the picture of his alive self in the land of the dead? And secondly- Well, little did you know that Leon Crick, the director of this film, has directly addressed this piece of plot convenience. Someone tweeted Leon Crick saying, I'm in a little trouble figuring out something about the movie, Coco. Where did Hector get a picture of himself? To which Leon Crick responded by saying, He had it with him when he died. So putting aside the fact it's a little weird that Hector has a photo of himself on him at all times. Because like, not even I'm that big headed. I'm joking, I am. I carry this on me at all times. But this is actually a really important tweet when it comes to the lore of Coco. Because it reveals an unspoken rule about the land of the dead, being that if something's in your possession when you die, you bring it with you. And this is huge! Because you know what else Hector had with him when he died? The guitar. Oh, you know this video is about to get good. This means that theoretically speaking, he should have brought the guitar with him to the land of the dead. However, we know that Hector doesn't have it with him in the land of the dead. Because when Miguel asks him, you know where I can get a guitar? He doesn't say, oh yeah, I have one. I can lend it to you. He says, uh, 
I know a guy. Meaning Hector does not own a guitar in the Land of the Dead. But this all makes sense. Of course he doesn't have a guitar in the Land of the Dead. And Ernesto de la Cruz stole it in the moment of his death. Like he literally takes it as he is dying. And this is intentional from Pixar. I can't stress this enough. You've got to remember that every single frame of this film would have been carefully crafted over hours and hours. And this was the big reveal. Arguably the most important scene. Meaning Pixar specifically made Ernesto steal the guitar at that moment. You could say Ernesto seized his moment. Meaning the guitar was Hector's and he had it with him when he died, but was also stolen by Ernesto in the very same second. And this is what created the curse. The guitar suddenly belongs in the land of the dead with Hector and the Riviera family, but also belongs in the land of the living with Ernesto and the De La Cruz family. The guitar wanted to travel to the land of the dead with Hector, but because it was stolen in the moment he died, it was prevented from doing so and withheld in the land of the living. And as you know, the guitar remains with Ernesto de la Cruz until his death. Which Pixar also animated very carefully, making sure he sets the guitar aside moments before he died. Therefore, despite the fact Ernesto owned the guitar when he died, he didn't have it with him when the bell crushed him, meaning he couldn't bring it with him to the land of the dead. Upon his death, this guitar was put in his crypt as a tribute to him for the foreseeable future. Until it was stolen by Miguel, Hector's great-great-grandson, a member of the Riviera family, which the cursed guitar would have interpreted as the Riviera family trying to take the guitar back. But it didn't belong with the Riviera family in the land of the living since Hector had it with him when he died and it belonged with Hector in the land of the dead. Which means when Miguel stole the guitar back for the Riviera family, it took him to the land of the dead. <sighs> And of course, when he receives his family's blessing, he and the guitar are able to return back to the land of the living as they do at the end of the film. And never will anyone have to question why the guitar randomly took Miguel to land of the dead again. This fits perfectly. Make sure to leave a like if you agree with me because I am so damn proud of this video. Anyway guys, that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching this video. And as I've said, make sure to leave this video a big thumbs up because I need the likes. They make me feel better about myself. Make sure to go check out my Twitter and my Instagram. I'm trying to boost my following on them. So um, yeah. Give me a hand and follow me. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking here. Watch another Coco video by clicking here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.